How cool is that? <laughs> That's so cool. I'm the Ice Abel 2 and welcome to Las Vegas. We're going to be making a few stops around town tonight. It is our first night on the town since we moved back to Vegas and we will be checking out maybe some of the lesser known cocktail bars. One of my favorite cocktail bars and also some spots that maybe we haven't been before. And our first stop is right here on Fremont Street at Atomic Liquors. Just check out the sign. The sign alone is worth a stop. Located in the East District is the oldest freestanding bar in Las Vegas. Now, this was built in the 1940s as Virginia's Cafe, where it once served up food for the locals. But not too long after, the owners decided to close the cafe, but reopen as a liquor store. This was the first liquor store license in Vegas. After purchasing a liquor pour license, which allowed them to serve over the counter, this made a brand new title of liquor license, which was called the Tavern License, and Atomic was number 00001, the first ever issued Tavern License in Vegas. There's a QR code if you guys want to check out the full menu. Here's a glance at the regular menu. They got a hunter's mash, which is very similar to the drink that I really enjoy. I usually get a whiskey smash. Strawberry fields, atomic meal, and then they've got their specialties like an atomic old fashioned. Uh, classic drinks right here. Ooh, and a margarita. I'm always down for a margarita. I've done maybe two videos here. One where I dove a lot deeper into the history and the original owners of the place, which they still have pictures of on the wall. And a lot to do with the atomic bombs. This is a really great location to watch the atomic bombs. So that's where the atomic liquors comes in. I love this poster though. Check out Miss Atomic Bomb, 1957. Ooh, and look at this. This is where they keep their Red Bulls. Very cool. The vibe here is different almost every time I come. Sometimes it's extremely crowded. Sometimes it's very, very quiet. Today it is a Friday. It's about 7 o'clock. Ooh, try our cherry infused atomic old fashioned. I'm pretty down for that. Look at these old school signs. I love it. Seriously, absolutely love this lounge. This was probably on the top of my list of places that I could not wait to come back and visit when I knew that we were coming back to Vegas. Cheers to being back in Vegas. Eddie and of course, family Vince is in town too. I just got a local beer. A uh, Tanea? Uh, Tanea Creek. Tanea Creek, can't go wrong. Vince, what did you get? I got a gin drink. I can't remember what's in it, but it's really good. <laughs> it's really good, so that's what counts. I recommend it. Okay, good. Well, whatever drink it was, he recommended. Yeah. <laughs> Like gin. <laughs> and then uh, I ended up getting the, the smash, right? This is what you guys got me? Yeah. All right, heck yeah. This is definitely a drink that I enjoy. Oh yeah. Ooh, that's good. They were once open 24 hours a day and drew in not only the locals, but also big names like the Rat Pack, Barbara Streisand, and even Clint Eastwood. Celebrities would come in after their shows on the strip and use Atomic as a place to wind down, maybe grab some drinks and shoot some pool. Not only do they have the bar over here, the Atomic Liquor, but they also have the Atomic Kitchen, a whole different area where they also have a bar, but they do serve food. And every single time that I've been here, I've just really, really enjoyed the atmosphere. Plenty of different kinds of drinks. They've got beers on tap, as well as some of the local breweries have cans here. And then, of course, full bar. And the last time I was here, the kitchen was barely opening. It looks like they're completely open now. So they've got another bar over here, but also a kitchen. It does smell very good in this area. Hmm, yep, smells like hamburgers. Great music, great drinks. Bartenders are always really friendly. Great vibes here at Atomic Liquors. Our next stop takes us closer to the Fremont Experience, located here in the Art Alleyway, about a block from the heart of Fremont, is this hidden joint. You would never know there's a really cool spot to kick back in and enjoy a few drinks right behind these doors. Yes, we are open. Please ring bell and be patient. All right, well, let's ring the bell. Once you walk in after ringing the bell, there are two options. Go left and you are in downtown cocktail room, which has more of a club and a loungy feel. There are deep colors and some loud music, spaced out chairs, and they even have a live DJ playing. Their cocktails, I've been told, is very, very elaborate. Their menu did look pretty good. Or you can head right, which leads you to Sip and Tip, which has more of a laid back and even that speakeasy feel. 
It's a little tight with some bar seating and some little booths, but the menu is a lot more simple, which really works out for us and also really works out for our wallets. I opted for a soda at this spot, but I did try Eddie's Old Fashioned and it was among the top three old fashions that we've had. It was very, very good. Very smooth with just the right amount of that orange flavor, that orange pop. Downtown Cocktail Room is the oldest continually operating bar here in downtown. Being that Atomic has closed for upgrades and renovations over the years, this bar has been open for 15 years straight and still kicking. They are known for their happy hour, where on most days from 5 to 7 p.m., everything is half off. There are Polaroids all over this side. I did ask if we can take one, but unfortunately, they were out of film on the day that we came. I definitely want to come back though and maybe try the other side, the loungy side. We opted for the more casual, speakeasy side. We are back on the Las Vegas Strip and back at Resorts World for our next stop. One of the newest speakeasies in Vegas is right here on the casino level. It blends in so well here at the food street. There are no signs, no advertisement, or anything letting you know that there is a bar behind here. Now it's called Here Kitty Kitty Vice Den, and you won't see the name out here. You might miss it. I do think a good amount of people are aware of the speakeasy, but there has to be a ton of people rocking right up to it and then away, not having a clue that behind the marketplace hides yet another option to grab a drink. I mean, not that you won't come across another bar just walking a few steps in any direction here in Las Vegas. The shelving in the marketplace is the secret door that pulls you away from the busy casino. How cool is that? <laughs> That's so cool. at the bar, I believe a two drink minimum if you sit at the tables. Yeah. So what do you end up getting? You got a Kirin. A Kirin? Yeah. It's just a, a beer, right? Yeah, like a lager, like oh. a light lager. Okay. A light beer. The drinks were a little pricey, but Vince, you went in for a yeah. drink. Yeah. What do you end up getting? I got the food straight. It's um, sort of like an, an old fashioned, but a little twist to it. It uses vanilla bitters. Ooh. Um, we have a lemon peel. It looks fancy. Um, but yeah, it's really good. You like yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. It has a Elijah Craig in it, so I really like Elijah Craig. Awesome. It has a really solid, uh, you know, budget bourbon. Oh, right on. It has like a giant ice cube in it. And there's an What? Oh, that's cool. Oh, really? And it's a whole time. Yeah. Thank you. I know. I was like, I hope that's my drink. Is that Poppy Boba? Yes. Oh, heck yeah. So this is a Stacy's Mom. They have two choices for mocktails for $14. But this particular one has pineapple juice, mango, lime, oat rice milk, and then strawberry bursting boba on top. This is really, really good. I think the rice milk adds a little something to that like tropical flavor. I haven't gotten to the boba bursting. They're, they're all at the top, but this is an excellent drink, an excellent mocktail. Uh, blue glow, so it has a uh, uh, Evian tequila, blue curacao, lemon, peach, and egg whites. So wow. the egg whites make it frothy. That drink was excellent. It was very, very fruity, but it also was very, very like strong. It had definitely a powerful punch to it, but it wasn't overwhelming. That was good. I dig the atmosphere in here so much. The soft pink makes it really, really cozy and really elegant. I am loving the neon tires, and so far I am absolutely loving my drink, and the bartenders are amazing. And I think that's where we're gonna close it out for today. It's been a fun weekend so far. We've been doing a lot of stuff. I love when family comes to town because we get to play tourists as well. But definitely a different style video than I normally do. I had to do a whole lot of voiceovers in downtown. It was so loud over there. I actually had to scratch a whole lot of footage too. But I have enjoyed all of the lounges that we've been to so far. It's been a lot of fun. And thanks so much for coming with us. I definitely wanted to take you along, show you some of the cooler spots, some of the more hidden spots that we got to go to this weekend. Until next time, take time to explore your town. We'll see you later, guys. <laughs>